Welcome back, everybody. Sylvie's glad to see you, too. We are here on the uh, surface of Silva at our home base, ready to resume our exploration and adventure and our upgrading uh, series here. Um, I do think this this has come in slightly useful, the, uh, the wind turbine here, but I think we need the slot, and I do want to bring Sylvie with us. So we are going to slap this turbine down, uh, maybe here, and just kind of connect it up to power. That frees up a slot for Sylvie over here. And one thing I was wondering about is um, it said that her favorite food was the Hispine seed. So maybe if we feed her one of those, she'll glow. Um, and maybe, just maybe she'll eat something else as well. Um, so we, if we can find a plant with a seed in it, maybe that makes her glow. Because what we were seeing didn't really seem to be that good. So I'm wondering if there isn't another way to go here. Let's see if we can find some sort of plant uh, that has a seed in it. And maybe we can use that to get her, get her going. Take a quick look around. Do we see any plants that we could dig up? Uh, there is a crashed something here. I think we already looked at this. There's nothing available. Let's see. Um, I know if we go down into the ground, there are those, uh, those exploding plants. Is there anything else around here that we can just kind of quickly do a test with? I don't see anything. I guess we could head over to the other mountains. If we really need to. Oh, there's lots of these research samples here, though. Okay, well, we're running out of uh, oxygen, so let's head back. And the next time we run into uh, a plant that has seeds, we can uh, uh, kind of dig out. We'll feed one to Sylvie and see what happens. Uh, in the meantime, uh, I want to get started on research, so let's head back to base and look into what printing the research or possibly unlocking the research module would involve. We've got like a good amount of power right now. We've got a lot of kind of generators set up all connected together. When the wind turbines are running, they're generating a lot. Uh, when the solar panel is open, it's generating quite a bit. And we've got a few batteries attached as well. So we've got like well over 120 units of power kind of stored in the batteries, which should make it fairly straightforward to uh, power this thing. Uh, let's take a look at the mission log. Let's see what we want to work on. So, feed your galastropods. They can eat any seed favorite foods increase benefits received. Okay, so we can feed them any any feed, any feed seed we want. And the reward is something called a QTRTG1. Uh, shells. A galastropod has found its way to the barren moon. Find and scan its discarded shells in the craters of DeSolo. Ah, okay, so the... Each of these galastropods acts as like gives you a buff, but you can only get Sylvie probably here on on Silva. You would need to go um, to the moon or the other planets, I guess, to uh, yeah Galador to find the other ones. So print a tractor that rewards us with a trailer schematic uh, and an item. Uh, we could print and attach the drill mod to get this. Oh, that gives us the soil centrifuge. All right, let's make this one active. Uh, what else? Arm yourself. Print an auto arm. Store a resource with an auto arm. Automate some of your work. Okay. Print and use the research chamber. We get two beacons and 250 bytes, so we want to do this one. Uh, and what else? To parts unknown. Print a small shuttle. Okay. Refine tungsten from wolframite, so we want to travel to wolframite. Or... Er want to travel to DeSolo or Calidor to locate Wolframite. And then Vesania or Novus, we can get lithium. We want to dig deep and turn the planet core on. 
Reclaimable. Item to recall, Sylvie. Oh, so if we lose her, we can recover her. That's really cool. If we accidentally drop her somewhere and lose track of where she is. Okay, I think we will do this right now to get the soil centrifuge because we have the um, the resource to print the drill mod. So let's do that first. All right. If we go into our backpack and go to beacon, we haven't done. We haven't built a work light either. What is the requirement here? Copper. Ooh, that's expensive. That's hard to deal with. Uh, small battery, power extenders. That requires copper as well. Boost mod. We've already got one of those. And then drill mod requires ceramic. We do have one ceramic over here, right? I think we found this because I don't think we knew how to uh, how to refine it. All right, let's print this. Okay, there's our drill mod. Upgrades drilling strength to handle hard terrain surfaces attached to the terrain tool to activate. Draws 0.25 units of power per second while active. So we've already got the boost mod on here. If we do this, we're taking up another slot. But there we go. We've completed the... Uh... We have now completed that mission. All right. I don't know that I want to bring both of these with me. So the drill, the boost mod increases deformation speed and draws 0.25. The drill mod increases hard terrain drilling and draws 0.25. I'm not honestly sure. I think defamation, uh, deformation rather is more useful for us. So we'll stick this here for now. But in the meantime, we have completed the uh, mission. So let's uh, collect the reward. It was a soil canister or a soil uh centrifuge right yeah we get a soil centrifuge very nice so let's see what that all is about all right this is a big boy okay draws six units of power per second okay where do we want to stick you uh you know there is one other thing that i wanted to look at with the backpack uh No, we don't have it unlocked yet. So if we go into research here, there was something that we could print. Packager, leveling block. Yeah, creates terrain that aligns to the voxel grid. I want to try this. We've got 6,000 bytes. And we have, a, we have a full soil canister at the moment. So I do want to kind of try... It says it creates terrain that aligns to the voxel grid. I want to see what that what that looks like. Leveling block. Let's make one of these. So how would this work? Oh, so it's got a, like a limited number of charges. So like if I put this here flat on the middle of our flat plane here, and then we use it. Huh, it says it aligns to the voxel grid, but. Interesting. Okay, I'm not sure how you would use this exactly. Uh, but it doesn't seem like it's helpful for us right now, given what we're trying to do, which is to build that uh, soil centrifuge. Let's flatten this back out. Okay. And then, uh, in terms of where we pop the soil centrifuge down, I guess over here... Uh, we, we're out of soil, though. Uh, let's uh, let's grab another one of these real quick, and let's keep our platform going. We kind of 
pop the uh, soil centrifuge over here. Now, one thing we are going to need, though, is power. So we might need to build some of those extenders. Uh, let's take a look at those. Or, well, let's, let's pop this thing down first. Let's see what it looks like over here. So something like, like this. Seems good. Okay, interesting. Used to extract natural resources from soil. Draws six units of power while active. And we can build compound, resin, organic, clay, quartz, or graphite, or ammonium. All right, so we don't have any quartz and very little clay, so we could do that. We could also build some resin. And its soil is really easy to come by, so this is interesting. Okay, uh, let us figure out power next. Now, we are going to need to build... I think some tethers. Power extenders. Oh, that costs copper. That's not good. So the other thing we could do is move it or build uh, a daisy chain of these platforms. I think we'll actually move it instead since it costs copper to make the... Uh, the power extenders and we don't really want to spend a lot of copper. Let's move it over here so we can connect it up. That looks good. Okay. And wait, where is the where's the power input? Do we have to put it on a platform? Maybe we need a large platform to put it on. Because I don't see... Yeah, there's nowhere to... Okay, maybe we need another one of these large platforms. Maybe it can sit on this, actually. Can it sit on that? Oh, it can. Okay, well that works then. That's fine. Let's move this... Uh, hang on, let's move this a little bit. Let's extend our platform out here a little bit. And let's move this guy like here. And then we will uh, lock it. So that's locked in place. And now we can interact with the soil generator. Alright, so if we grab like a bunch of soil here. All right, that's as much as we can carry actually. Oh, look, it, like, very quickly extracts everything. Okay, so it can store a certain amount of soil. All right. Uh, small canister. If we put another full canister on here, maybe it'll draw from it if it needs more. Okay. Let's have it make... What do we want? We can make eight resin, it looks like. Six clay. Or four quartz. Let's make four quartz. Oh, it's very quick. And it's not drawing from these. It is drawing power, however. It's draining the batteries. Okay, will we have enough power? Everything's off. There's no sunlight and no wind. There we go, done. And look at that, we got quartz. Backpack full, okay. Uh, all right, so we're gonna need 
another storage, another bunch of storage things. Um, let me throw these over here. Put the empties. Empty soil canisters can go here, like this. And we've got four more over here. Empty, empty. Okay. And then this one... Oh, it did kind of... Okay, so it does kind of, like, start using things. Uh, let's see. Actually, we should take an empty one with us. All right. Uh, we, we are going to need uh, more storage, so let's grab some of these. And now we can get more resin anytime we want. We just, like, go dig a hole, fill up the, the soil canisters, and then uh, pop them on there to make more resin. That's kind of handy. Um, I want a medium storage. Or do I want a large storage, maybe? Hang on. Let's see what you can build. I think we might be in the way of its front, though. Yeah, we're in the way. We need to move this. Somewhere else. There we go. Okay. What kind of storage can you build? Uh, large platform, large printer, research chamber. Oh, we can build that. Okay. You know, we might need to uh, research it. Let's take a look at the, uh, the catalog. Okay, so for the medium printer... Auto arm. Medium resource canister. Sensors. Repeaters. Extenders. Generator. Platform. Medium storage. Yeah. This is already unlocked. So we can already print this for two resin. What about large storage? Recreational sphere we already found. There's the buggy. Large storage. Okay. This requires ceramic times three. Uh, to make ceramic, we would have to... I think we do the smelter? Hang on, let's see if we know how to make ceramic. I don't think we know where clay is either, so... Maybe we'll stick with medium for now. Wait a minute, didn't we... Small printer can make the medium printer and the medium storage. This is unlocked. Okay. So we do come back over to the small printer here and make medium storage. All right. Let's make two of these. Let's get another one of these going. Good enough. All right, and we're going to stick, you're going to be uh, quartz, I suppose. Let's go get the other pieces that we printed. more organic than we could shake a stick at. Dump it over there in the pit. Okay, so next we would need resin.
Uh, so we're we're out of like uh, good soil. Oh no, we have we have two. Let's pop those onto the soil centrifuge. And let's make some resin. Oh look, it's still like full of soil after that. So resin's cheap from a soil perspective. Okay. This is cool. We're getting some stuff going here. Uh, let's drop you and you over here. And then we, we can go fill this one up. And we'll take one piece of resin with us. There'll be more over there if we need it. Okay, so backpack. We've got Sylvie. We've got our solid fuel jump jet. Resonant compound to make tethers. We've got soil. And then we've got tethers on the gun. So we're good to go here. Uh, the next thing to build would be the research chamber, I suppose. And I think we would likely need another large platform for that. And probably we'd have to pop it over here somewhere. So we've got large printer, we've got our smelting furnace, we've got our uh, soil centrifuge over here. Um, I think we'll head left now. Uh, there's our small trumpet horn. Let's put you into storage. We could pop you over here somewhere. Uh, let's see. Of these, the exo chips are probably the thing I'm like least able to use right now. So let's grab those. I have no idea what those are or how to use them. Maybe we research them. Maybe we're about to find out. Uh, but let's pop these over here for now. What was this thing? The leveling block. Yeah, I just still don't really know how that works. I might have to look that up. And then over here... Uh, we're going to have... All of this is connected to the network, so... I think we move you... Move you over here. That's a good place for you. Right there, in a little depression. And then we uh, use the terrain tool here to keep our flat surface going. Get ourselves some, some building space over here. And we'll plop down the uh, the research chamber over here. Now then, to build the research chamber, uh, we are going to need. I think we've have we already unlocked it. I think this would be from the medium medium uh, chemistry lab, atmospheric condenser, research chamber. Yes. Okay. This is already unlocked. We need two compound and one resin at the medium printer. Okay, let's load up. Uh, what was it? It was two compound, one resin. All right, so com two compound, one resin. And then we have lots of extra resin over there. Let's go to the medium printer and print a research chamber. And this probably needs another, what is that, large platform A or large platform B as well. Uh, while that's printing, let's move some of our resin around. Very nice, very nice. I really like the soil centrifuge. And then there was some hints in the research about automation, right? So we could theoretically feed a bunch of soil canisters, like fill a bunch of soil canisters, stick it on a platform that's connected to this, uh, to the centrifuge, and then automate production of resin and then have an arm moving onto storage or something. That could be really interesting. Okay, you're done. And I think we are going to need a platform for you to sit on, so let's print that. Uh, XO request platform. Not sure about that. Large platform A needs two resin. Okay. We'll 
print that up. Now we'll have a research chamber. Now all the research items that we found are over here. So we'll have to bring them over one at a time. I thought there were three. Yeah, there's a, the rock, the crystal, and the plant here that we found. Let's get this kind of moving over there in preparation for doing the research. Oh, we should also look at researching dynamite, maybe. So I think I think the way this is going to work is the research chamber is going to take items like this and like produce a stream of bites over time as we uh probably drawing power while it's at it. We probably need a lot more batteries too. Um all right, so here's large platform A. You're going to come over here. You're going to be our research chamber. We connect you up to the network. And then you are going to come over here. All right, research chamber is complete. And let's throw this plant thing in here. Press button to start research. 720 bytes, research item, 10 minutes, 8 per minute. Okay. And now, how much do you draw? You draw two units of power per second while active. So we should be fine between wind and solar I th and, the, and the batteries. I think it'd be good. We could certainly use, like, 20 more batteries to just have a massive storage bank that gets powered up when, the, when these things are on. Um, the other thing we consider is only running this during the day. But we kind of want it running all the time. So we'll hope that... I guess the I guess the idea is like if if we drain all the power, then it'll pause hopefully until we start recharging when the wind blows or the sun comes out. All right, so we've got research going. Uh, we've completed a few different uh, missions here. We got our soil centrifuge rocking. Next thing I guess would be to build the the tractor. We can look into that. But let's look at our rewards for science. We get two beacons and some bites. Uh, I'm not quite sure how we use beacons here. Customizable compass marker to assist with navigation. Okay, so wherever we put this, it'll show up on our on our on our um, on our compass. So if we bring up the compass right now, what do we have on here? Um, I believe that light bulb is home, right? No, what is the light bulb? Is the light bulb the biology lab? Yeah, the light bulb is the xenobiology lab. Then we've got home. The gravity ball, these two beacons. Uh, we've got our soil centrifuge here, I think. Or no, what is the green thing? Oh, that's the exocache. Okay. And then we've got the unlocked light column over there, and the one we haven't discovered over here. Okay. So, in terms of those two beacons, what do we do with them? I don't know that we need these. We can carry them around, but where would we where would we put them down, you know? Uh, research more than 150 bytes per second of concurrent research. Got a little got a little uh, achievement there. So I guess like if we found a really great like uh, resource node that we want to come back, we could drop one of these things, but carrying it with me seems like a big hassle. I'm not sure about that. Can we disable these or destroy them? We can cycle through colors. I guess we just leave these here for now. Oh, we can turn it off. So if we cycle all the way through, we can actually turn it off. Okay, that's actually useful. Uh, so the research... Is that done? Or no, it's still it's still working on it. Let's take a look at the progress meter here. Okay. 193 per minute. Okay. And we've got another one minute to go on, it looks like. Alright, well that's gonna be generating uh, bytes for us. That's very handy. Uh, okay, so next up we're going to print a tractor, I think. 
Uh, so, where do we print that? Probably this, the medium printer again? Let's see. No, we might not have it unlocked. Hold on. So, this is the medium printer. It would be nice if they gave you kind of a category name. Okay, buggy, large rover seat, medium rover, VTOL, crane. So no, it's not the uh, it's not the large printer, it's the small printer. Rover seat, tractor, trailer. Okay, buggy horn and winch. Well, let's build the tractor. We need two aluminum. This prints on the small printer. All right. So aluminum we have. Uh, we can get more from laterite here. Let's go ahead and take care of this. Let's get another piece of aluminum going. Smelt that down into aluminum. Actually, we can throw another couple on here. So we have laterite to spare. Guys, we're starting to build a real base here. All right, so we've got two aluminum. Let's build the tractor. Rover C, we might need to put this on the tractor. All right, let's uh, build the tractor. Figure out how this thing works. I think we, I think it said we get one trailer for free from the rewards too. Rough terrain vehicle. Work vehicle with a built-in seat and rechargeable battery. Can tow a limited number of trailers. Low power draw while active. Huh, okay. Do we have to recharge it first? Maybe we have to charge it first. Yeah, there's like a battery indicator there. There. Okay. So let's see. Oh, oh, okay. And I think it's providing oxygen as well. Huh. Now it does have... It does have two attachment slots there. It is kind of eating up some battery pretty fast, though. Like, it's, it's already used a third. So if we brought this with us, we'd want to bring either power generator, probably the small generator with compound on it, or not compound, uh, uh, not compound, um, organic. So we can kind of charge it up when it, when it, when it drains. Uh, and we could also maybe bring uh, a turbine. So if I go grab, yeah, because that thing's not seeing any use really. This this guy, yeah. Let's grab you, and let's grab. That's a small solar. We could bring a small battery actually. That has 32 units of power. That's like eight more. I think we eat one of these yellow bars is four, so that's like eight more. Um, the other thing we could consider is bringing a small turbine with us, because I have seen. Wind power underground. So maybe that could work. Um, and then an emergency we have uh, to get to get it back up somewhere. We have the... Uh, we have this guy, right? So we'll throw those on there. And then when it's windy, it'll power it up. And otherwise... You know what? It's, it's already used like half of its charge. Maybe we do need a battery instead of this. Oh, you know what? Never mind. It... It... That... That fills it up real fast. And we can get more organic whenever, wherever we need. Okay, cool. So, let's turn this in. Moving and hauling. Complete. We get a trailer for free. And then... Let's hook this up. Okay, so this is... Yeah, this is... We can, like, put stuff on this. And there, there goes the wind turbine charging it up as well. And if this thing has an attachment as well, we can put a battery on it. Uh, we probably need both of those. 
Oh, let's see. We can, a portable platform. We can't actually move it. But, alright, it sort of moves itself. And then we can... Okay, so we can kind of drive around here. Seems like it's a pretty decent little storage mechanic. Portable, portable storage, right? We can put one big thing or two small things on there. Or, you know what we could do? We could print a storage thingy and pop it on there as well. Neat. Okay. Let's do that. Let's, uh, yeah, let's do that. Medium platform A, is that what we want? No, storage. So we'll pop that on the back of the trailer and then we'll go, when we go exploring, we'll have all kinds of, uh, we'll have, what, eight extra storage to bring stuff back? And then I should really give it a test. We should take it down into the mine and see how good it is at, like, getting up and down. Let's do that now. Let's head over to the mine. I think it is providing oxygen. Okay, so this could be a little tricky. We might lose the whole thing here. Oh, I wonder if the hole we dug is big enough. Can we get down here? Yeah. Okay. Kind of just barely. But we can get down. Follow the highway. Okay. Well, you know what? Since we've got this, let's go on an expedition. Oh, now navigating this could be tricky. Okay. Yeah, the lake, uh, the stalag, stalag, uh, mites are a problem. Let me hop out here and grab this research since it's here. Let's hop on. So see, the wind is blowing and it's, yeah, it's already full again. Okay, so the little wind turbine is the way to go down here. Navigate this. Kind of, sort of. Okay, making progress. Uh, I think now we need to get out and figure out where we want to go from here. The other thing we could do is just see if we can turn around or not and get back up. Yeah, it seems pretty. It seems pretty adaptable. Fairly rugged. And it is dragging the trailer with us, and we can climb this incline. All right, I'm going to leave the tractor here for now. And we're going to go uh, try to find a way to get deeper. So we're going to do a little bit of exploring here. Now, we've been down here, and then this was the sphalerite. We've dug that all out. So what else is there over here? There's kind of a path over this way. Leads back here. Is there another way down? Yeah, there's like a path down here. Okay, so if we build a little highway and come over here, we can get rid of all these uh, we can get rid of all these stalag stalagmites and build a little highway over there. We can go down further. Oh, you know what else I should do while I'm here? Where's uh, where's one of those uh, explodey plants? Hold on. There's a path down there as well, so maybe we circle around. Let me get one of these guys dug up and get a seed real quick. Uh, here we go. Oh, there's, yeah, there's some stuff down there. Okay. Uh, uh, shift click. Okay, let me pop one of these. Hang on, let's bring her out. 
and pop one of these on top. Huh. So she won't eat this, I guess. Hang on, let me, uh, I'm running out of oxygen. Okay, all right. Hold your breath. Okay. Um, let's try that again. If we pop you down, favorite foods, mutant hispine seed, and this is a pop coral seed. Oh, we can slot it in. Oh, and she's gonna eat it. Oh, and there's the light. Okay. Thanks, Sylvie. So yeah, look at that. She does provide quite a great amount of light here. Okay, uh, next up, we want to pave ourselves a road. screwed this up. Let's keep this plane nice and straight. There we go. And we'll curve this around. Now we're trying to go... We're trying to go where? Oh, there's there's a path down over here. This is probably the closest one, so we'll take... I think we'll take a look at this. Heading down to the next level down here. Oh no, I, I dug this. I think. There's nothing there. Okay. Uh, grab these research bikes. So we want to head over where? Where was the drop? Where was the next drop? Was it? Does that go down somewhere? Does it? Yeah, there's like a curve here, but it doesn't go down to another cave. It just sort of stops. All right, so not there. I think this is the one we want. Yeah, that's heading down to the next level. All right. So we want to kind of come through here. All right. So we curve around that big thing there. Got it. Let's build this road. We're going to curve around that. All right. So. Hold control. way. Okay, I think we need to dig this out and then re rebuild the road there. Okay. Let's also extend our, our tether network while we're at it. I don't think we need you anymore. Wait a minute, can I shift click this? Oh, that's how you restore tethers. You can shift click. Oh, okay. Wow, that's I wish I'd known that earlier. Okay, heading around, curving to the right. Over to here. Okay. And now we do need to pave this out. Let's make sure we've got our plane here. Okay. Curve around Over this way. And then at some point we dig down into the ground. So we're pretty close now. It's uh, it's over here. So we're gonna need a, a highway down. 
So let's see if we can kind of get something along the right angle. That looks pretty good. Okay, so that's heading downwards, and then we can bring it back uh, up. And then this is this is like the, uh, the second part of the plane. So we are going to need a little bit of a ramp down at the end here towards that location. So something like like this maybe. That looks good. This lined up. Uh, what are we? We're out of soil. Let's do some digging. Spal, right? Keep extending this until we. Yeah, until we. Oops. Until we hit the lip. And now we need something a little bit steeper here. This comes up. Ah, I messed it up. There we go, that's pretty good. Well, it's okay. No, damn it. Okay, well that kind of gets us there, and then we just got this lip to deal with now. get you to be we need something a little bit more along these lines yeah something like something like that kind of rises up to meet okay that's kind of good and then we need something like this okay i think that's there we go that's kind of pretty close i think we should be able to navigate this a little bit of a rough patch here but it should get us down and into this this uh, highway here. I'm just going to take us down lower. Nice straight path down here. And this is more... Uh, what is this? That's more sphalerite? Yeah, okay. Come over here. Okay, I need to grab the... Uh, Need to grab the tethers, bring them over. But we should be able to drive this, I think. Right? We can come down here. And, let's see. That looks pretty good. Head further down like this. Or is that too steep? That might be too steep. Yeah, that's pretty steep, okay. But it does get us down there, so maybe that's okay. And the tractor should be good. 
So let's just, yeah, let's, well, maybe we can make it just a little bit. There we go. That's a little bit less steep. Whoa, what is, what is that? Oh, she's running out of power? Okay, so she's not going to be able to illuminate forever. Um, I guess we can collect some of this Valorite here. So the deep, we went deeper and we found sort of more rare, rarer resources because we were having trouble finding Spalarate before. Uh, let's go get the, let's go get the, uh, the tractor down here. Yeah, she ran out of juice. But we could feed her another seed pretty easily. I do like the light she gives. That's really strong, I think. All right, so we've extended our highway. We've gotten deeper. Uh, let's go ahead and grab a seed here. Might as well, right? Uh. Nice. Yeah, that's really great. So we get, what do we get? Like 10, 15 minutes out of her with that? And those pop corals are everywhere. So anytime she's hungry, we just grab one and feed her again. All right, guys, let's go deeper. Oh, we can back up here. Very nice. This little tractor guy seems pretty handy. we can get back up, that'll be kind of the, the proof, right? The proof in the pudding. All right, let's bring you down to here, and I think we'll hop off. And we'll do some storage, because we can. Uh, we've got laterite. We've got in spades. I guess we'll take a couple pieces of laterite, a couple pieces of spalarite, and then these we just don't care that much about right now. We don't need that much of it. Uh, let's throw these over here. Make sure they're not in the way of the driving. Little trash bin there. And then I think we want to... This is like on a like right tilted angle. I'd like to, if I can, yeah, get it a little bit more. Like where's a place where we've got a good... See, that's a little bit better, I think. Uh, let's keep going down. We're going to need to dig this out for sure. That's got to go. Yep. Let's get down to the ground over there. Okay, we're going to need to extend our tether network some more. Do we have any tethers left? We don't. We're going to need to print some. We have one left. Alright, so now we need to keep an eye out for compound for sure. up to here, yeah. We'll just pop this over here as a tether platform. Like so. Oh, there's a uh, there's a research node down there. Okay. Let's get down to the level of the ground here. And then we'll uh, we'll explore. Okay. Guys, I am going to take a break here. And when we come back, we will continue exploring this uh, cavern and going as deep as we can. And seeing what we find. Uh, so, as always, uh, appreciate you guys watching. Looking forward to continuing this series. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Any, uh, what do you think about Sylvie? Uh, any ideas about where we should go for our first planet when we uh, finally build the shuttle? Um, and uh, anything else, any other thoughts or feelings you have about the series would be great. Uh, but until then, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Take care.